Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API 570 Piping Inspection Code in Service Inspection, Rating, Repair, and Alteration of Piping Systems. In this lecture, we will continue discuss Clauses 5 and we highlight important information contained items subclauses 5.8 corrosion under insulation inspection and 5.9 mixing point inspection corrosion under insulation inspection corrosion under insulation inspections may be conducted as part of the external inspection API 583 on CUI has much more detailed information on CUI and should be used in conjunction with piping CUI inspection programs. If CUI damage is found during spot checks, the inspector should inspect other susceptible areas on the piping. Although external insulation may appear to be in good condition, CUI damage may still be occurring. Non-intrusive techniques, such as real-time radiography can help to determine if any scale is present behind the insulation without removal. Other techniques such as profile radiography, pulsed eddy current, and guided wave examination can help to locate damage. Removal of scale on live equipment and removal of insulation where leaks are suspected can pose a significant safety risk. Considerations for insulation removal include but are not limited to history of CUI for the specific piping system or comparable piping systems, visual condition of the external covering and insulation, rust stains, biological growth and bulged weather jacketing. Evidence of fluid leakage, for example drips or vapors. Whether the piping systems are in intermittent service. Condition, age of the external coating, if known. Evidence of areas with wet insulation. Potential for the type of insulation to absorb, hold more water, for example. Calcium silicate versus cellular glass. Low points of sagging lines. Bottom of vertical pipe. Proximity to equipment that could increase the local humidity, for example. Cooling towers. Areas where temperature regimes are moving into and out of the CUI temperature range. Mixing point inspection. Mixing points are locations in piping systems where two or more different streams meet. The difference in streams may be composition, temperature or any other parameter that may contribute to deterioration, accelerated or localized corrosion, and or thermal fatigue during normal or abnormal operating conditions. The preferred methods of inspecting mixing points include radiography and ultrasonics, straight beam and or angle beam, to determine the minimum measured thickness and or the presence of other susceptible damage mechanisms for example thermal fatigue cracking and pitting at each CML. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile. <laughs>